Uh, welcome to Tech Lake video tutorials. Uh, in this Azure fundamental session, uh, previous session I explained about what is data center and uh, primarily uh, cloud services. And today's session we will focus on when it comes to uh, on premises and cloud, on premises and cloud comparison and types of services or service model types. So every cloud service provider, so they will be having different kinds of service type models. Okay. First we'll understand what is exactly on-premises. On-premises means every company, their premises, every company, their premises. So their premises, they will have their own network. They'll have a storage. They will have a servers. They will have a virtual missions, operating systems, middleware, runtime, data applications. Everything is owned and managed by that company in their premises. So that we will call it as on premises. On premises. Every company is going to manage those servers, operating systems, storage, network, power, everything they will manage. Okay. So that is happening from last many years past 20 years or 30 years, whatever you take, any company. So every organization, they will be having servers in their infrastructure in their premises. We'll call it as on-premises. So for that, they need a network team, they need a storage team, they need an infra team, they need admins, they need a developers, and they need a testers to manage, develop applications, and uh, admin teams to install softwares and managing those softwares. An infrastructure team provide the infrastructure, network team to manage the network, storage team, team to take the storages, backups, and other things. So this is about on-premises. When it comes to cloud, cloud primarily divides into three parts. Software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service. Mean, when it comes to software as a service means end users will be using. Like if we are using a Gmail, we are using Outlook, we are using Office 365, we are using a Google Drive, we are using a Amazon Prime or a Netflix or Amazon Music. Just you are going and creating account and using that is called end user. End users will be using this. Users, end users. It may be Google Drive, Google Docs, Gmail, Outlook, Office 365, Teams and there are plenty of examples are available software as a service okay so but who will manage that who will manage the back end the back end means consider if you talk about a prime amazon prime so amazon prime means aws so amazon will manage everything in back end it may be networking storage servers virtualization where it stores how it store which operating system it will store which middleware it use which runtime it will use where it will store the data, how it will store the data, which applications they'll use. Everything is managed by cloud service provider means they'll be managing this. If it is Azure, Azure will be managing. Consider if you talk about Office 365, Microsoft Teams, SharePoint. So end users will be using. SharePoint means you're not developing any program. Office 365 means you're not developing any program, just registering and using. So that is called software as a service. Then what is the platform as a service? So when you look at the software as service, right? Uh, Azure is having a plenty of services. Google is having a plenty of services. And uh, AWS is also having plenty of services. Directly end users will be using. Google, Google Gmail, Google Docs. So their services. So Google Photos, many are there. And when it comes to uh, Azure, Azure is having uh, Outlook, uh, Office 365, Teams, SharePoint, many are there. Okay, those are Microsoft services. Now, when it comes to platform as a service. So platform as service means backend network, storage, servers, virtual machines, operating system, middleware, runtime, they will be managing. Means cloud service provider will be managing. Consider if you talk about uh, Microsoft Azure. So Azure, they will be managing runtime, middleware, operating system, which operating system they want in backend. So they will manage. Only we, we means developers. So here developers point of view. 
so developers will be managing applications and data consider we are managing data bricks we are managing data factory and we are managing data lake so the data and applications developer point of view so data bricks facebook we are writing there or maybe synapse analytics or maybe data factory okay or maybe machine learning so ml or iot so applications and data developers will be managing applications and data developers will be managing back end part managed by cloud service provider so this is called platform as a service then when it comes to infrastructure as a service most of the azure services are more data related services right data factory data bricks uh, azure uh, yaml okay data lake those are services directly uh, fall in data related data related means platform as a service infrastructure as a service when you go to the infrastructure right every company what they will do they will buy only infrastructure that's all virtual machine servers storage network that's all they will use cloud services this and managed by cloud service provider those virtualization servers so storage network and companies what they will do they will have admins administrators because this is administrator responsibility like installing operating system installing middleways installing runtime and uh, applications data developers these two are developers these are our administrators job so who will manage who will go for infrastructure as service if the company is having good infrastructure team if they want to save money or if they want to customize their applications like operating systems middleware can, they can choose anything okay and they can go with infrastructure as service most of the aws projects are because aws primarily they are concentrated on infrastructure most of the aws projects you can find this kind of infrastructure as a service even they are providing all three but majority majority aws projects are aws related okay and this is about three types of cloud service providers simple way to understand pizza as a service this is simple way to understand pizza as a service consider a dining out means you are going some restaurant and you are ordering pizza and eating that's all you are going out and paying for that that is called software as service you don't need to worry about uh, oven you need to worry about uh, tables you need to worry about water drinks cool drink or maybe anything just everything is provided by as a service particular restaurant or any pizza corner any pizza service provider then if you go for platform as a service so what we will do we'll use a pizza delivery service so we will stay at home we'll use at home dining table and drinks we'll use our dining table and drinks then we'll order on online okay that is pizza delivery so they will prepare pizza and they will send to you you don't need to worry about these things you don't need to worry about cheese toppings so fire oven everything they will be having they will prepare and they will send you just you need to eat at home and you need a drinks at home okay that's all that is called pizza delivery platform as a service infrastructure as a service so this is 50 percent which you need to made at home 50 percent which you can prepare at home and a few raw materials which you can buy and 50 percent you are buying and you are taking and you are preparing at home that is called take and bake so that is called infrastructure as a service then on premises is nothing but traditional so nowadays we everyone we are eating pizzas when we go 100 years back 50 years back 70 years back right traditional approaches traditional approach means everything they will made at home everything they will made at home so nowadays service providers are there so we are buying raw material and we are preparing at home or just we are going out and eating but when you go to the traditional everything is made at home this is everything is made at home is nothing but traditional which is legacy on-premises systems on-premises systems this is about cloud service providers their models so 
this is the easiest way to understand this is the easiest way to understand so who will uh, go for uh, infrastructure as service if they have a good system administrators most of the aws services you can find infrastructure as a service okay or uh, rack space there are many are there platform as a service so developers majorly developers so most of the azure projects right azure projects related to developer related even infra also you can choose that infrastructure also you can choose but majority i am talking about actually and when it comes to software as a service end users will be using directly so microsoft also now many uh, saas are available many software as a service but google is having more gmail google docs okay and the salesforce fresh books these are directly users will be using now you can see lot of uh, sharepoint office 365 microsoft teams and there are many are there okay so earlier we used to store emails documents in our local systems but now we are not storing anything your ma mails also will be in a cloud it depends on cloud if you are using office 365 everything in the cloud or if you are uh, talking about a teams so teams also will be having option documents apps so those also will be there in cloud those also will be there in cloud as about service models service models so next session what we will do uh, we will more deep dive into why companies are choosing cloud services why companies are choosing cloud services and last few 2 3 years you you see there is a huge demand for cloud services so why companies are choosing and uh, what are the major benefits they are getting what are the major drawbacks are there at uh, on premises hidden drawbacks or you can see hidden things are there on on premises that we'll see in another video okay we'll see that just a uh, uh, highlight uh, what are the major features they'll get in cloud what are the hidden things are there on on premises so that we will see in another video see you thank you if you're not subscribed please subscribe my channel see you in another video thank you